Hey guys, happy Easter, happy birthday, happy whatever today is for you. Today is actually the day that I started The Vegan Zombie 11 years ago. So uh, if you go to my website and do the who is, April 12th was the day I bought this uh, The Vegan Zombie website. Um, so 11 years now. And I just got back from getting supplies at the store. I was running low on produce and stuff like that. So I did a little run. Let's show you what we got here. This is all stuff from Aldi. And let's see, we got some kale, some chopped kale. We're gonna make a, a salad there. I have some oranges. These are one of my favorites. These are Kara Kara oranges. Good source of vitamin C. Uh, another bag of oranges. And then we got some mini um, mandarins. Also, nice little snack. Some blooms, some nice blueberries. I like to put these in uh, smoothies or smoothie bowls. All right, here we have uh, suja celery juice. And we got some peppers here and some avocado. And here is the um, stainless steel straws. Is that right, Ziki? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. And over here we have that variegated syngonium that uh, Rachel got in the last video. It's a very rare plant, I hear, and it's also pretty pricey as well. Since I have awesome roommates, uh, Rachel's mom got us this amazing Easter basket here. Well, it's like a bowl but uh, we're gonna go through it. So right on top, front and center, we got this little Easter bunny here. Put that over by the variegated one. All right, we got, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what this is. Put that on the side over there. Look at that. This is, it looks like some herbs. So we can grow some uh, parsley, basil, and chives. Just give it love and water and I guess you're gonna have yourself some herbs. All right, cool. And here's some gloves in case you gotta touch a zombie. Oh, or if you have to garden. And we got some Girl Scout Thin Mints. Thin Mints are always vegan. And uh, over here we got Chip. All right, this is from the company No Way Chocolate. It's an all vegan company and they have these allergen free uh, chocolates. So this is a chocolate Easter bunny that is vegan. And it's also free of like, um, you know, the milk, the nut, and uh, no artificial colors, stuff like that. Home is where the dogs are. Dogs, there they are right there. There's one of them. There's another one. Indy, yeah, you're a dog. And then these, oh my God, these are some of my favorite things. I was just talking about these in a live stream I did last night. I really love cream eggs. I loved them when I was a little kid. And then I went vegan and they were like gone. Unless you're making your own, this is a uh, really good substitute right there. Vegan cream eggs by the company No Way Chocolate. The same company that makes Chip over here makes the cream eggs and I really like them. They are a bit pricey, but they are very good. What else do we have in here? We have some uh, doggy cleanup bags because when you got doggies, you need to clean up when you take them for a walk. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like some chocolate bark, maybe a chocolate cookie bark or something or chocolate peanut butter. There's Rach. Homemade vegan candy bars. Homemade vegan candy bars. So this is Rach and Plants, so if you guys are into plants, go follow Rach. Oh, and there's still, like throughout the basket, there's um, a bunch of my favorite things. We got the vegan peanut butter cups by Justin. So these are the dark chocolate ones. And make sure if you're gonna get them, get the dark chocolate, because they do have milk chocolate, which aren't vegan. Um, but these are delicious. Oh, and what's in here? Something very good. Vegan chocolate fudge with mirror mirror on the wall Ooh. white chocolate chips vegan fudge with white chocolate chips in it mm -hmm. Ooh, take a bite out of one of those <laughs> don't mind if i do <laughs> <laughs> oh my after gosh. this but here we go here we go boom all the halfway oh yeah so let's we want to see what it looks like right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's get a focus on it let's get a focus Ooh, look at that guys the white chocolate chips yum is, is it yum is it yum Yep. Oh, oh my god. Oh, and I missed one thing. We got the uh, the vegan puppy chow. And no, this is not for puppies. It's for people. I actually did a video on this uh, a couple years ago as well. And it's basically peanut butter cups and chocolate and uh, cereal and different things that are 
sweet and snacky and tasty and probably not all that good for you, but it's delicious. Okay, so I also found these at Wegmans. It's the just egg and little folded squares. So I was thinking of making an egg bagel sandwich. I got these plain bagels from Wegmans. There we go, vegan. Um, and then I would normally put like some uh, vegan sausage on there, like a sausage McMuffin. Um, I like the, uh, the Gimme Lean, but I don't have any of that. So actually I do, I have the Hillary's apple maple sausage. So let's try this out. They come in these little individually wrapped squares. So we're just gonna crank that up to about eight minutes. I like to always start at eight minutes for everything. Okay, these are hot, hot, hot. Okay, so we got the, the bagels are nice and toasted. I'll probably put a little bit of ketchup on this too, but we need the cheese to be melted. So I'm just gonna kind of put it back on there like that. Grab the top for that. And same thing with this one. Put that down, put the cheese on like that. Oop, that'd be the other way, like that. Um, and I just want them to melt a little bit more, but I don't want it to melt all over the air fryer, so I'm only gonna put it on for just like probably a minute or so. All right, so that looks melty enough. Let's try to get these out of here without burning our hands off our body. Ooh, those look good. And there you go. I will put some hot sauce and some ketchup on here. Very similar to stuff I used to make when I was uh, first vegan, which I will do a video on that at some point. But what do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on there and some hot sauce, Frank's hot sauce. Put it back together. And there's that Egg McMuffin, vegan style. All right, here we go. Mm. That is really good. That apple sage sausage is super good. The egg is good with the cheese melted on it. That little bit of hot sauce and a perfectly to toasted bagel. If I didn't try to eat healthy all the time, I would eat these every day. Easter breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time to make some dinner. Let's put the apron on. We're gonna start the sourdough right now. I have my scale right here and I have it set to grams. A quarter cup of your starter in there. I just usually eyeball the starter a little bit, about like that. So make sure that's on zero and put 46 grams of water in there. And you can just kind of like stir it around like that. I use the small end of a wooden spoon. And then we're gonna add our flour. So I'm gonna use a little bit of different flour here. So I have some whole wheat flour. I'm gonna put about 100 grams in there. And then I have some bread flour and I'm gonna put 123 grams. You want everything to add up to 646 grams. So now I just have some regular all-purpose white flour. Oh, that's almost exactly 644, 46. Okay, put your salt in. You can always um, go refer to my sourdough video for the exact measurements. So for water, you wanna put 369 right there. So the only ingredients are here are the, the three different flours, water, and salt. And our starter is, all it is is flour and water. We're gonna form this into a dough ball. You're gonna want one of these. I, I'll link it below what I have. I, it comes with the, the bread bowl, the cloth, and one of these. Uh, I definitely recommend doing all that if you're gonna be making bread a lot. We're gonna set that to the side. So now I'm just waiting on the bread dough to rise so we can get that going. And then we're gonna start working on our tofurkey ham. Okay, I'm back and I'm about to make the tofurkey ham. So what I have here are some potatoes. We're just gonna cut them up. Give them, a, I guess, a small to medium dice. And I have this uh, pot right here, which we're gonna put everything into. All right, and then we have Indy's favorite treats, uh, carrots. He'll, he'll go crazy for a carrot. And we're just gonna do that. 
Do the same with those. Throw in all of those in there. There you go. Ziki, come here. Here. There you go. There's Ziki. I'm going to use this uh, better than bouillon. A little broth taste in there, about uh, almost a tablespoon. We're going to pour that right in there. A little bit of soy sauce to add to it. Okay. Now we're going to open the tofurkey. Boom. All right, there it is. Tofurkey ham. It's delicious. It's solid. Doesn't look like a lot, but there's a lot there. Um, we're just going to take the plastic off. You don't want to make the mistake and cook it with the plastic on it. So take the plastic completely off it like that. And I guess it's going to sit like this. So we're going to take it. Uh, this is longer like this, so we're going to take it a long way. And I'm just going to cut into it about three quarters down, not all the way through. I'm just going to make a few slits like that into the roast. Uh, normally I would have some nice fresh rosemary, thyme, probably some sage. We're in hard times, we don't have those right now. So, And I'm just going to take some of these wedges and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pack them right in there like that. Pack the apple right in there like that. Add a little bit of flavor to it. Nice and thin, but not too thin. Um, about like this. That's probably what, uh, half an inch. Uh, yeah, we did it. So there it is, like that. Make room in the bottom so you can set this in there and all the veggies will kind of sit around it like that. So that's what we got going here. The top on it and now it goes in the oven. You want to put that on 325 for 2 hours and 15 minutes. We have a mess over here in the intermission room. Rachel and plants, what are you doing? I already potted some plants. I already potted my aloe, my lemon lime maranta, my neon todos. Ooh, those are like some bright green flowers. Yeah. It then, almost looks fake. It's real though. And my aglionema over here. Ooh, aglionemas. Aglionemos. All right, it looks like that's on um, a box of Charmin. Are we gonna repot you? Alpha Food sent me these and I'm really happy because I needed a good pair of oven mitts. So, let's do it. Oh, look at that, Oh, You know, I would say that's probably done right now. The roast itself is definitely done. The apples in there, they just pretty much caramelized. But I just need to see if the potatoes are done. Oh yeah, it just, they're so tender. All right, so there you have it. Cooking with Chef Chris, AKA the zombie chef. Perfectly cooked. It's perfect like this. This is just, this is just the potato part. Easter dinner is done. The bread still rising. And that's what we got. We got a nice dough ball. And I hope everybody out there has a wonderful Easter. Or if you don't celebrate Easter, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. Go down there and hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Smash it. Hit the little bell so you get notifications. And I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Just go ahead and just, just click it. That's all. It's very easy. Just smash it. And uh, stay safe. Watch out for zombies. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Can't pick it up and walk away because it's too hot. Is this your bunny? Can I see your bunny? Can I see bunny? Is that bunny? Okay, no, no bunny.